Hello everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to another How to Build video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build five medieval torture slash execution decorations. Now, this is going to be my Halloween video, but I wanted you guys to be able to build things throughout the entire year off this video. Now, I do not do my tutorials on PC, I do them on console, so I had no access to any custom heads. So today in this video, Steve is just going to have a very, very bad time. As you can see, he doesn't make it through some of these builds. But if this is the first time you've ever been to one of my how to build five of this, how to build ten of this, I always work my way from the left-hand side over to the right now when i do it a name will swipe up above it and then there will be a timestamp underneath the name if you want to skip through the video to whichever one that you want to see right away you can go ahead and do that however all of them are really cool so hopefully you just build them all because honestly they're all pretty sweet so let's go ahead and start up over here on the first one which as you can see is well steve at the gallows now this is going to be the hardest one to build just because of what i used to make it work as you can see it does have a rope that well steve is swinging from but what i did was i used a rabbit now the cool thing about rabbits is the lead doesn't fully connect to the rabbit as you can see the rope's not going into the ground so it actually looks like steve is hovering above the ground and well yeah he's not having a very good day today but that's definitely going to be the hardest one the gallows second up on the list is going to be steve at the stockades now out of all five of these builds this one is my absolute favorite one it looks so good and it's so easy to build it compared to that one this one is a cakewalk so there is steve at the stockades Third up on the list, yeah, Steve didn't really make it through this one. It's going to be Steve at the guillotine. I'm sorry, Steve. And But the cool thing about this guillotine is now that we got that new block, the nether wart block, it actually kind of looks like a severed neck. And I didn't think I was ever going to use that block for this, but it looks really, really good. So there's Steve at the guillotine. Now, fourth up on the list is going to be Steve burning at the stake. Now, I know you're looking at this one and saying, man, that is a very simple one to build. But a lot of people don't know armor stands actually burn from fire. When you put an armor stand in fire, it burns. So what I did was I just moved it over a tiny, tiny bit. And as you can see, the armor stand is in the fire, but it is also not burning. And it's a very easy build, but it looks really, really good for your medieval build. And then fifth on the list is going to be Steve inside of an Iron Maiden. Now, I'm pretty sure I did a tutorial on one of these in the past, but I have over a thousand videos and I really didn't feel like looking through them. So I'm sorry if I have done one of these in the past, but it's a very simple build. As you can see, Steve is inside the Iron Maiden. He has a few spikes going through him because I honestly should have probably just named this execution devices, not torture and execution, because he's just pretty much getting executed through every single one of these devices. But like I said at the beginning, if you have never seen one of my videos, I always start from the left-hand side, work my way over to the right. As you saw, there was a timestamp underneath every single one of the names, so if you want to go ahead and skip through the video to whichever one you would like to see first, go ahead and do that. Highly recommend building all five of them, because, well, of course I want you to watch the entire video, but they're all really, really cool builds. So we're going to be starting over here at the first one. This is definitely going to be the hardest one to build. All right, guys, so first up on the list is going to be steve at the gallows so what we're going to do is figure out where we want our gallows to go first this is where he's going to be pretty much well hanging from the middle area so we're going to figure out where that is and then what i want you to do is just dig down two blocks from there one two then inside the hole we're going to go ahead and place in a rabbit now i am doing this on creative so it's going to be a lot easier for me if you're doing this on survival well have fun getting a rabbit <laughs> rabbits are really annoying but once you have your rabbit in the hole what you want to do is go ahead and take out a fence post of any color that you want to use i'm going to be using spruce fences for mine so just go ahead and place a fence post right above the hole that you've created with your rabbit down there now before we move any further from this area i highly recommend getting a name tag and renaming your rabbit i'm not going to say it's going to despawn but this will definitely 100 keep your rabbit from despawning so i'm going to name mine steve because well i'm gonna have steve at our little gallows right over there so i might as well use steve's name so i'm gonna go ahead and rename my rabbit steve Next up, what we're going to do is take out some blocks and come up four blocks above this fence post. So one, two, three, four. So we have our fence post and then four blocks. One, two, three, four. And that kind of looks like a giant corn dog now that I look at it. So once you have your giant corn dog built, just come all the way to the top. I'm going to place in one more fence post right above it. Now I'm just going to use spruce. I'm going to be using spruce throughout the, this entire build. You can change up the colors to whatever you'd like, but I like keeping everything similar. So this is going to be a total of six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Next up, just go ahead and break all the blocks in the middle. They are no longer needed. Next up, go ahead and take out your lead, place your lead around your rabbit, and then go ahead and hook him up here to this top area. Now, as you can see, he's kind of floating in the air because he's technically not supposed to be going that high. Now, what we're going to do is take out a slab. We're not going to need it, so just any color slab will do, and place the slab right above your fence post like so. Next up, we're going to take out our blocks once again and come up two more blocks from here. One, two. Break the middle block. And then take out your piston and face your piston downwards towards your slab. Now we're going to have to send power to this piston. So place your lever right above it. Flip it down and send power to it. Now as you can see, Steve is still alive. He did not die. But the rope kind of looks black. But don't worry, that will change once we move this slab. So next up, go ahead and just break this piston. Break this block. 
And now what we're gonna have to do is pretty much move this slab without our rabbit coming out. So what I did was I used gray carpet. Now you could change the color to whatever you'd like, depending on what your flooring is. I'm using stone. So my flooring, I kept it gray. So it kind of matches that gray flooring. You can use whatever colors you like to. So just take out a color of carpet that you like, place it right next to your slab, place your piston facing inwards towards it. And now send power to your pistons so bloop, like that. And you see our rabbit kind of popped out and then went back under. But there you go. Steve is alive. And now he's underneath this carpet. Now what we're going to do is quickly go ahead and build our entire gallows right here. So we're going to come over two blocks from this carpet. One, two. And then just come down one. Bloop like that. And come up one. Boop. So over two and then down one and then up one. Do the same thing on this side. Over two. One, two. Down one. And then up one. Go ahead and take out whatever color you're going to be using. I'm going to be using spruce for my entire build. So I'm going to place in two slabs right here. Or you can just take out full blocks. Just make sure there's a full block right above every single one of your stone walls. Like that. Then we're going to take out our slabs and place them upside down, connecting everything together. So upside down, connecting everything together. Make sure you leave the middle hole opened up. So bloop and bloop. And make sure this is opened up right here. So that's what it looks like now from the bottom. Next up, take out a wooden trap door and place a wooden trap door right here. And then place a lever right behind it like so. Next, take out your cobblestone walls once again and place one here, one here, and now just connect everything together. So take out your spruce fence or whatever color you're using and just connect it all together. So boop, boop, and bring it over one and do the same thing over here. Bring it up two, well, three actually, and then bring it over one like this. There we go. Now everything is connected together. Now what we have to do is just place in our armor stand and our Steve. So we're going to take out our armor stand, our Steve head, and now we're going to need a leather tunic, leather pants, and leather booties, and we're going to color the leather tunic cyan. So take out your cyan and color it. Take out your lapis lazuli and color it. Take out your ink sack and color it. Now we're going to place our armor stand right above this trap door. So just go into sneak mode and place it in boop like that. Place your Steve head on top of it. And then go ahead and just take out your leather tunic, your leather pants, and your I forgot that it was going to auto equip to me. So we're going to need our leather tunic, our pants, and our booties. And we're going to go ahead and place that all on top of our Steve like that. And I did not want to take that off. There we go. And then we're going to place in our boots as well. Next, all we have to do is just open up this trap door right here, and it will fall into place. Now, if you like everything is symmetrical like me, as you can see, the rabbit's kind of not right in the middle. And this could take a lot of time if you want everything symmetrical. But for me, I like everything to be nice and even, even if it's not super even. So what you want to do is if your rabbit's kind of off to the side, and like you see how the rope's kind of going to the side a little bit, all you have to do is just break the blocks next to it, and you just kind of push the rabbit a little bit. Just push it and back up like, boop, push him and back up. And oh, did that go too far? Yeah, but like I said, <laughs> if you want it all even, you're, it's going to take a little while, guys. I know, but you're just going to have to keep pushing your rabbit until he is perfect. I don't want to push him too far. Boop, like that. And oh, oh, it's just going to keep doing it. The other one, when I did it the first time, guys, it took me quite some time to actually get it perfect. You know, just, let's just leave him right there. That doesn't look too bad. But for me, it took a little while to get it all perfect. But there is the gallows completely done. Now all you have to do is just make staircases to get up there. So take out your spruce staircase or whatever color you're using. I just place staircase here staircase here and then place one more upside down right underneath it like that and there's our staircase to get up top and guys this is going to be the hardest one to build but there it is guys the gallows is completely done now if you actually want this lever to work back here all you have to do is turn this into a full block behind it so if you want to you know just come up a block here and then oh the, the rabbit's actually in the way so <laughs> just come underneath it place another slab like that and now it's a full block so as you can see i can close it and open it up now but it really doesn't matter if that works because technically steve is already there all right, guys, the so second up on the list is going to be Steve at the Stockades. Now, this one is so much easier to build than the first one, but it's still my absolute favorite one. So what we're going to do is pretty much just take out our fences and go one, two, like that. And then we're going to come up one more, like so, and then just connect them together like that. Then next up, take out your armor stand, place it right here in the middle. Now, if you watched the first one, all we're going to need now is a leather tunic that is dyed cyan. We're going to need lapis lazuli pants. And we're going to need a black ink sack leather booties. So now let's go ahead and dress up our Steve. There we go. Take out your piston and place a piston facing inwards towards your armor stand. Now all we have to do is just send power to it. So send power to your piston. Boop. And it will push them into our fence post like that. Now all we need is some item frames and some signs. So take out your item frames, your signs. And we're also going to need white hardened clay. So place two item frames right next to it. One here and one here. And then place in your white hardened clay. Next up, go ahead and take out your signs. And we're going to place signs off all the back three of these fences. So one here, back out of it. One here, back out of it. And one right here, and back out of it. And that's how easy it is to build 
the stockades, but I absolutely love this one. And as you can see, the tunic's kind of going a little sideways. I highly recommend trying to get your armor stand as centered as possible. But for the tutorial, I just kept, I just went along with it. So like I said, you know, just keep placing in your armor stand until it's perfectly straight. That one would have been better than that one right there. Let's see. See, that's what that one looks like right there. As you can see, it's kind of going sideways. So just try to make sure it's uh, straight. Not like that. Uh, come on. And... Well, it just hates me. So let's go ahead and move on to the third one. All right, guys, third up on the list is going to be Steve at the guillotine. And yes, yeah, Steve didn't make it through this one as well. Now, this is completely up to you. You get to change the colors around to whatever you like. I just like using a dark oak because it is my absolute favorite one. But go ahead and just choose up a color palette that you think looks really fantastic. So we're going to start off by placing three oak planks like this one, two, three. I'm using dark oak. And then we're going to place in three item frames right along the bottom. Next up, place another warp block right in the middle. And then two white hardened clays on the sides. Next up, place a head right here on the floor. And if you would like to, you can go ahead and use another work blocks again for the blood. But I went ahead and I used a block of redstone for the blood on the floor. I just didn't want it to be the same color as the severed head area. Next up, take out some cobblestone walls and place two cobblestone walls on both sides. And then come up three oak fences. Well, depending on what color you're using, just come up three fence posts on both sides. So one, two, three. I'm using dark oak. One, two, three. And then we're going to place one more cobblestone wall above that. Now using the same color palette once again, just place in three slabs, one, two, three. Place in one more dark oak wood fence right in the middle, and then take out your iron bars and place that right there as well. Now if you want to, you can actually place two more blocks here on the sides, so it kind of connects to them, but I felt that it looked a little too fat in a way. <laughs> but if you want to, you could place two right there, so it kind of looks like a straight blade. But you know what, if you like it guys, if you like it looking like that, you can absolutely do that. But I'm just gonna go ahead and change my back up to the fences because I felt like that looked the absolute best. So boop and boop, just like that. But that's it guys, you're completely done. If you want to, you can take out some redstone and kind of make it look like blood splatter around the area. But that's it guys, that you are completely done. Fourth up on the list is going to be Steve burning at the stake. Now people might look past this one because usually armor stands gets burned by the fire. But if we move it over just a tiny little bit and then set the pole inside of the armor stand, it will not burn the armor stand. So what we're gonna do is pretty much make a three by three spacing of netherrack. So just take out your netherrack blocks and make a nice little three by three spacing. Next up, place your armor stand right here in the middle of it. Make sure it's as straight as possible. I don't like that it hunches over and things like that. Can you please just give me a nice one? Uh, no, please. Eh, no, come on. I hate these things so much sometimes. They never give me the one I want. Uh, please, please, please. Eh, that's fine, whatever. I don't feel like looking anymore. Next up, what we're going to do is take out a block and just place a block right in front of it like this. And then we're going to place a piston right behind it and send power to the piston, pushing the armor stand into the block. So send power to it, boop, and it'll push it into the block, break the piston, break the block, break this block as well. And now everything should be in place. So now all we have to do is just dress it up by placing a Steve head, a cyan colored leather tunic, a lapis lazuli colored pants, and of course the ink sack booties. Now we can't simply just place in our cobblestone wall right here off the thing. We actually have to push it into our armor stand. So come up three blocks next to your armor stand, one, two, three, and place a cobblestone wall right above them. And then place in a fence post right above that as well. Use whatever color you're using. I'm just gonna use dark oak wood. Over here I used the spruce. And then go ahead and break these blocks that are no longer needed. Next up, take out your piston, and we're gonna need to place our piston facing downwards into our fence post. So send power to it, boop, and it'll push it inside of the armor stand. And we're gonna go ahead and do that one more time and send power to it, boop, like that. And that is everything completely done. Now I like bringing up at least one more fence post like this just because it looks a little bit better, but that's it, you're completely done. So now all you have to do is just take out some flint and steel and then set fire to all of our netherrack. Your armor stand shouldn't burn because technically it is not on the block that is on fire. And there is Steve burning at the stake. And then last but not least, we have our Iron Maiden, Steve. This one's another very, very easy build, probably the second easiest build out of all of these. So what we're gonna do is pretty much just place down our armor stand and then dress it up like Steve. So placing your Steve head, your cyan colored tunic, your lapis lazuli pants, and your ink sack boots. And now what we're gonna do is place in two iron bars right above our armor stand. So just come up some blocks, one, two, three, place an iron bar right above it. And then we're gonna need another iron bar above that. Now we're gonna have to face a piston downwards into these iron bars. So come up two blocks, one, two. You can use redstone block, it doesn't matter, but it's gonna send power to it right away. But I'm gonna go ahead and place my piston facing downwards. And boop, as you can see, it already sent power to it. And now all we have to do is just send power into it one more time. So go ahead and take out the color of slab that you want to use for it. Since I'm going to be using spruce doors, I'm just going to keep everything spruce. So I'm just going to go ahead and take out a spruce slab and place my spruce slab right above it. And then just send power to it like that. Boop. Just like that. Now all we have to do is just take out some spruce doors and face it around this entire thing. So place one here. Now I like everything to be symmetrical. Now if you place in another spruce door over here, as you can see, 
both spruce doors are not symmetrical with each other and that annoys me if it doesn't annoy you then you're absolutely fine but just to uh change that up from happening just place one here then break this door and place another one right here and as you can see now they're both facing the exact same direction then we're going to place one for the front place one in the back like this and that's it you're completely done so when i open it up boop he's inside the iron maiden now usually the iron maidens are on the side of walls so what i also like to do is just take out some stone bricks or whatever color you're using for your wall and then just place a wall up behind your iron maiden like that and there you guys have it. So open it up boom he's being tortured or you know, well actually probably dead because he has iron spikes going through him but there is the iron maiden but there you guys have it that's how you build all five medieval torture slash execution devices for your medieval worlds and or halloween worlds hopefully they spruce up your world's just a tiny bit i think i just said world like five times now six times <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe to my newest videos all right guys peace